Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Sunday the 17th, and today was a beautiful, lovely day outside. Went ahead and got this morning uh, really early, got the dogs around, whatever. Um, did hop in the hot tub for a little bit, um, got that chilled out, went ahead and drained the hot tub and unplugged it all because we've been gone for the week, and it was getting the time, it was probably a little early, but probably time to go ahead and change the water out as it was. And I'm in that weird stage of like, well, at this point, like, I don't want to just pay for the um, keeping the water filtered and running heated all week long if I'm not going to be there. So said to hell with it. I uh, went ahead and just drained it out after I got done. Um, got it all unplugged, got it set up, got the dogs taken care of. Uh, went ahead and got ready. Had the gentleman come by and pick these dogs up. So he got those two picked up about 7.30. He's supposed to text me on the way over. Never does, which is one of the things I got to tell him, you know, your wife does a good job, but you don't. So you have to uh, deal with this stuff. Like I can't just have you just like randomly showing up to kind of a pain in the butt. So I'm trying to get to my camera. There we go. This is where I'm at. I'm now dark, but we're looking out where I'm at. So I'm whatever. So beautiful ocean behind me. So I went ahead and um, he did get the the, um, the dogs picked up. So it was good. Got the car all loaded up. Um, I told my mom she's not allowed to help me. Uh, last time she tried to help me pack up stuff. Um, she carried out things in the wrong order. I got there and I knew this goes in last. It was on top. So I left it. And then halfway to Miami, I realized I had no clothes. I had some running gear and some underwear. That was it. I had no actual outfits. So I had to stop at like Ross um, and like Marshalls and stuff and grab a bunch of things that didn't fit right. And it was just, it was awful. So I spent a couple hundred bucks and really never wore me except the cruise because they don't fit well. And they're just, they're not, just, it was, I had like 20 minutes to buy, you know, six outfits kind of thing. So didn't have my suit for a short night, nothing. It was a pain in the butt. So I said, you are not allowed to touch anything. Don't, don't help me. Don't hold the door. Don't do nothing. This is all, I need my routine or what it is. So and she even kind of made some smart ass remark about how she's not going to help me. I said, good. I don't want you to. That's what I'm after is you not helping me. So but yeah, went ahead, um, got it all packed up, got the dogs gone. Uh, my wife got around and then um, got my run in, got my shower. Everything's good to go there. We basically um, headed out a little early. We need to be on the road at like nine. We got left at like 8.30. Here's a little extra time, which worked out perfectly. Um, rolling down, we stopped uh, a couple times to, um, for fuel and basically used the restroom. We rolled up in as we get closer to the port. It's always that weird thing like where you don't want to go, you don't want to use the restroom too close to port. Because once you get too close to port though, there's nowhere else to stop and you're stuck. Like, it's just awful. And there's, the parking garage does not have a um, restroom in it, like right there. So now you're standing in line at the port trying to cut through traffic and give your bags in to find a restroom as a pin the butt. So I did find a spot that worked pretty well. Probably use it again next time we come down here to Miami. Unfortunately, that's the only place Virgin um, Cruise Line is selling out of in Miami. So we have to come here. So I got in there, uh, found the parking lot pretty easily. Again, you can't read their signs. It's like a silver on a white sign. It's awful if you can't read it. But we know where we're going. So we pulled in there, drop all our gear off, um, give them all our bags. They tagged them all. We have a new room this time. Last two times we were on the ship with the same room. So the same tag number which worked out well. But went ahead, um, got that set away, went and got the car parked. And everything was good there. Went across and we had probably an hour. We were probably an hour ahead, hour and a half ahead, which worked out splendid for us. That's what we want. We won't, we'd never want to feel like we're running behind. It works out wonderful. Um, chat a few people through like text message stuff, Facebook. Everybody else is kind of showing up and who all is going to be there. Uh, a couple of them were getting tested at the port, which never, I would know I'm going to drive three and a half hours or more, pay for parking, all that kind of stuff, then find out my test is bad and I can't get on the boat. So we tested early. Everything's good to go there. Uh, knocked it out, was able to get on the boat finally. Um, time we got on the boat, it was not long after that. Our stuff was at the room, so we headed back to our room, put our bags away and stuff and whatnot. Um, everything was there except for my lawn chair. Lawn chair eventually showed up, worked out fine. I brought my own lawn chair on the boat because I want a comfortable seat. But we went around, uh, met up with a group of people, our, all of our like, cruising friends and stuff we're hanging out with, everything's good. And then we find out that like, all of our reservations have been screwed up, like everything. It's just like, it's, it's ridiculousness of what's going on. So we had like 14 of us booked out, or 16, I think it was 14 or 16 of us booked out. And last minute, Virgin's just been changing everybody's crew, everybody's reservations and stuff. And it's, it's superbly annoying. So, but we're dealing with that. We um, got that done. We got some food in us, which is good. Um, ended up hanging out by the pool a little bit. Just kind of wandering around, checking out the boat, making sure things still all there. Um, the staff on the boat are just phenomenal. They're just insanely nice. They're such great people. So it works really, really well. But yeah, end up having a wonderful dinner, hanging out with friends and stuff. Um, free shots at the table. When you come in with like, you know, there's not many of us in the group, they kind of treat you a little differently. And they're like, the menu, I'm like, don't do the menus. Bring us everything. Just pass around. We'll all share it. We don't, you know, it's just, this will work out great. So it's been working out real well for us for that. So that was good. Um, end up heading back to the, um, the room, trying to get some sleep fairly early it's just one of those things where you just i'm up stupid early on especially the day we're leaving but got ourselves some rest and wrapped it up and called it a night so 
That's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.